Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Acts chapter 2, verse 22, and chapter 15, verse 12. They read as follows. Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. The whole assembly became silent as they listened to Barnabas and Paul telling about the signs and wonders God had done among the Gentiles through them. I bet if I took a poll and I asked how many of us have ever experienced a bona fide miracle, the vast majority of us would raise our hand or we would, you know, give a very excited and smiling yes, or we would be kind of wide eyed in remembrance. Recently, I was chatting with some family and the memory of a miracle that I had actually kind of forgotten about it. It's been a, a long time had come back to me. We were talking about something and it reminded me of this one particular situation I experienced and I shared the story of that miracle. It actually starts when I was a teenager. I danced growing up and this one particular season I was a part of this group and we did performances and there were four of us. We were on stage and we were practicing this one particular move. There were two couples, two dancing couples, and I was with my my partner and the you know the other couple were there but the guy from the other couple he wasn't quite getting the move so I switched partners and I went to go show that guy not with my normal partner but with this new guy how to do that particular move however he did it wrong I mean really wrong to the point where he ended up dropping me really, really bad from this particular lift. And it was a big deal. The paramedics came, they put me in that kind of neck brace, head stretcher thing. They ran all these tests. When I got to the hospital, doctor said that, you know, I probably, you know, by God's grace, if I had landed a certain way, you know, I could have been paralyzed. You know, it was a miracle by God's grace that I had landed the way that I had landed because I came out of it okay. It was was an incredible miracle. But that wasn't the only part of that miracle. The thing was with this, you know, thing that happened to me as a teenager, I had back issues for the next probably 10 years. And I would have, you know, really bad back pain if I didn't strengthen my back through working out or weights, you know, kind of, or lifting or pushups, I would have back issues. One day, 10 years later, I was in service and, you know, sort of like, I think an evening service and I was serving while, you know, there was this guest preacher, this prophet from Africa. He had come and, you know, he just had an incredible prophetic gift. I mean, incredible prophetic gift, but he said something that was interesting. I wasn't sitting in the audience. I didn't go up to the altar. I was doing other things and serving and just kind of listening as I was doing other things. But he said something, he said, I see a healing wind coming from the back of the auditorium and moving its way up to the front. And I was in the front. I cannot explain what happened to you guys, to you guys, friends. I cannot explain it, but I felt something come over me. Not really, honestly, you know, there for that, there for serving, you know, I felt something come over me. I felt the Holy Spirit just like kind of honestly, just like wave over me. I was completely healed of those back issues that night. It was such a miracle. Only God could have done that. Miracles are encouraging friends. I mean, God uses them in these incredible ways to just bless his kids, but he also uses them in these incredible ways to draw people who don't know him to him, to draw them closer to him so that they can see, oh my goodness, there is more out there. God perhaps does exist. There is someone who's trying to draw me, who did this thing for me that I can't explain this. Jesus did miracles and signs and wonders, not to show off his power, but to show that he has all power to show people that he loves them, that he wants to be in relationship with him, that he, you know, is using this to draw them to himself, draw them to him so they can come closer to him. And as our verses note, not only that, but he, for some reason, will work through us. He will work his power through us so that they may believe in him. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you, Lord, for some reason, is nothing to you, God, but it's everything to us. You would step into our worlds, God, and you would just do things that we cannot explain, God. You would heal us. You would provide for us. You would bless us. You'd 
protect us, get us away from danger, God. Put us on the right path, that you love us so much, God, that sometimes, you know what, you just step down, step into our lives in ways that we cannot explain it, but are so incredible. God, I pray for my brothers and sisters, and I pray, God, that you would bless them with the spiritual gift of miracles, God, not for us, God, not for, you know, showing off, not that we have all these great things. No, Lord, we don't even actually need to know that we have it, but let it be that when we pray for people, God, they get healed. When we, you know, check in on people, they are encouraged, God, that you would, you know, we lay hands on the sick, Lord, and they would recover, God, but help us, Lord, by your grace to work miracles, God, that you may get the glory and that people may get closer to you, be drawn to you, God, and be in love with you, God, just as we are. We love you, God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time and God bless you.